Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. Well, today I'm going to show you how to do the straw blowing technique. And um, I'm going to warn you, this is not something you're going to do 10 in a row because you're going to get uh, 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 light edit. So this one here, um, I use Bashful Blue, Crumb Cake, and So Saffron. So I'm going to show you how to do this one. And I was trying to do different combo. This one's going to be kind of pretty. And you have to skip the look of it till you do your image. Because first it looked like blah till you put your image. This year was um, Regal Rose. Um, the green was Old Olive. And I had some So Saffron. Here I had uh, Bashful Blue. Old Olive. Again the... Regal Rose. This one I don't even remember what I had. I know I had some Perfect Plum and I cannot remember. This is the first two that I try and they're way too dark. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is take your piece of glossy and I just use temporary tape in the back so it won't move when you blow. And then just a regular straw and get your re-anchor. So today we're going to use Saracen, So Saffron, and Bashful Blue. The best thing to do, it would be to do the light color first. So I'm going to do the Saracen, and you do about all four or five drops. Doesn't matter how many. You just do a few, and then we're going to blow. And try to turn your paper so it don't go all on the same side. I don't know if you can still see there. Okay, now I'm going to use um, So Saffron. And again, put all four or five drops and blow again. And that looked more like more mustard on it, but it is so saffron. I get so light at it doing this. That's why I'm saying. I did a few in a row and I'm like, whoo, this is my bashful blue. Okay, when you're done, when you get all this mix, I'm very dizzy. Take a tissue paper, and they say to wipe it. I don't wipe it. I just tab it a bit so it's going to dry easier, and then wipe a bit. But tab first so you don't just smear all that ink. And then you can wipe it good. I really like this combo. Remove this here. Voila. This was again the Bashful Blue, So Saffron, and Saracen. I really like this combo. Then you would let that dry before you stamp. And then when I stamp on it, this one here I think gonna make good for a flower. So I get my field flower. I got a uh, stays on. We're going to stamp this with stays on. And one thing I want to mention, you know when you blow the ink going to go under like this and it you're going to have all that line. That is okay or you can trim it after it's all up to you. 
Then I'm going to take my flower. That's going to be very pretty here. And remember, when I show it to you first, it looked very blah. Then I'm going to put my little one right here. Voila! That's pretty. So now you get a very lovely background in your flower. This is it for the blowing technique. And again, um, just use the light color first. It doesn't matter which combo. I'm still uh, trying different combo with this. So I would say this one was uh, awesome for uh, flowers. The one with the blue that I did with the fish. This one was uh, crumb cake. Um, I said bashful blue, but it's, it's not bashful blue. It's pool party and then the so saffron. And the one I did with you was the <clears throat> um, Sarah Sand, so saffron and bashful blue. And you can see the blue, it's way brighter, the bashful blue, than the pool party. So this is it for today. I hope you learned something new. Till next time, happy stamping.